Hello, everybody, and welcome to Racing from Delaware Park. Delaware Park. I'm Rich Glazier, and we're going to take a look at Saturday's races. And you know, as I always say, it never rains on Saturday at Delaware Park. And for the most part, it did not, but it did toward the end of the card. And we'll talk about that later. But the uh, first six races were run on a fast track. Now, yesterday around 6, 6.30, we had heavy rains here on Friday night, and that uh, did not allow the turf course to dry out properly, so we were off the turf today. So six races on the main track. I'll tell you right now, we had to cancel the last two races. Now, the seventh race only had two horses scheduled to run anyway, so I think that had something to do with the uh, decision to cancel the last two. Uh, I don't think the rain uh, lasted that long, but it was pretty heavy and the wind was blowing uh, when it did come in. So for the most part, I think we're safe that it never rains on Saturday at Delaware Park. Anyway, because there was no turf today, there was no bungee pick, but he is going to brave it and try to pick one for Monday, he says. Okay, here he is. Bungee, uh, what do you got for Monday? Oh, an oldie but a goodie. He, he's picking the same one that was his first winner of the year this year, Shanghai Bonnie. Well, you're picking it again? Oh, well, when it won, it won on a disqualification, if we recall that. So he wants to pick it and let it win on its own. So that's why he's picking it again. But he, he likes it, thinks it look, she looks good. Shanghai Bonnie is the pick on Monday. On the turf only. Here's that it. All right, Bungie, go, go to sleep. All right, that uh, takes care of him. Now we're going to, because we've only got six races to show you, we'll show you some more of that family fun day that we had here a couple weeks ago at Delaware Park uh, to uh, make up the uh, missing time for those two races. But in the meantime, we do have six exciting races to show you, and here's the field for the opener. And scratch the 1A and the 5. They're going one mile in here, which is once around the oval. John Curran with the call. One off. We're about set, and they're off. Holiday Prayer gets away well. Our way to escape alongside up on the outside. Down on the inside, it's E. Lizzie, then Disco Party. And Afiro Azul's up there three wide into the first turn. Our way to escape crossing over has the lead. Then we have four across the track. E. Lizzie is there. Holiday prayer. Disco party up there three wide. And now Zafira Azul decides to tuck in halfway around that turn as they reach the back stretch. On the front end, it's your favorite. Our way to escape by almost two lengths. Holiday prayers right there with Disco Party. Heads apart in second and third. Two and a half to E. Lizzie. Another four lengths further back to Zafiro Azul as they make their way down the back stretch. Opening quarter and a pedestrian 25 and one. And our way to escape controlling things on the front end by a length. Disco Party and Holiday Prayer are running as a team in second and third. Then a gap of three and a half to E. Lizzie. Another four more to Zafiro Azul as they cover the half in 48 and four. They pick things up that quarter as they race into the turn. On the front end, our way to escape by a length. Disco Party, the challenger now second, as dropping back a bit, Holiday Prayer. Three and a half to E. Lizzie, and still seven more to Zafiro Azul with three eights to go. Our way to escape has not escaped with the lead yet of only about a half a length as moving up on the outside, Disco Party, and coming back for more Holiday Prayer. Our way to escape still has company as they head for home. They cut the six furlongs in one, 13 and four. Our way to escape. Still pressure by Disco Party, E. Lizzie is trying to slip through on the inside. Holiday Prayer is flat on the outside. Our way to escape. Disco Party's not giving in. E. Lizzie still coming on the inside. Our way to escape. Disco Party. Disco Party in the final yards getting up. Our way to escape. And E. Lizzie in a foe. And it was the long shot in here winning it. Disco Party dances home. S Brittany Scampers home. Brittany Scamperton. Br Say it again, Rich. Brittany Scampton. For Corby Chazo, for Sinatra Thoroughbreds Racing and Breeding LLC. $36, 78320. Our way to escape with Sedeno, 220 to 10. E. Lizzie with Chappie, 210. You've heard me talk about 
technicality horses. This is a race for horses that haven't won in six months unless it was for $4,000 or less. And there were three horses in here that have won uh, this year. The two, the three, and the four. And there they go. They run one, two, three. So if you bet the technicality horses, you got an exacta for 59.20, a try for 97.20, and there was no superfecta in that race. And that's that. On to race two. Second race had a field of eight with seven betting interests because there was an entry. And they're going to go five and a half furlongs in this one. And here's Mr. Curran with the call. We have. And they're off. Aaron Gravat to the outside, Dangerous Hearted, Silver Lash, all vie for that lead, and Silver Lash rushing up on the inside, joins Aaron Gravat as they race down the back stretch. Dangerous Hearted quickly back into third, then comes Sunny Blaze toward the inside. Confusion is there with Boulder along the rail, and the entries last to next to last, Sterling Canyon and Sterling Judge. Silver Lash showing the way into the turn, leads it by a half. Right there, Aaron Gravat racing second, two lengths to Sunny Blaze, Dangerous Hearted, and Confusion right there between horses. Sterling Canyon's looking to move up, racing in six as they make their way around the bend, followed by Sterling Judge and Boulder now dropping out of it. Three eights to go, Silver Lash still fending off Aaron Gobra, but here comes Dangerous Hearted up on the outside quickly to challenge. And Dangerous Hearted now engaging the leader. On the outside, Dangerous Hearted on the inside, Silver Lash. Aaron Gobra still right there between them, followed by up on the outside, Sterling Canyon and Sunny Blaze. Angles for Women is coming with a run. Confusion in between horses, squeezed a bit there. Wide open with a furlong to go, and it is Dangerous Hearted on the inside trying to battle back Aaron Gobra, but Dangerous Hearted will prevail by three parts over Aaron Gobra. Sunny Blaze got third photo for fourth. And Dangerous Hearted taking that one. A bit of an upset there. This one's uh, been having trouble of late, but grand form today for Jose Betancourt for Gerald Dennison. Gerald Dennison and Daniel Lane, the owners. 17-20, 7-40, 4-60. Aaron Gobra with Mania, 360-280. Suni, Suni Blaze with Garcia, $3. Exact 95 to try, 297-40. That double, a hefty 370-40. Super with the one, 396-90. And that is it. And that winner was another Delaware certified winner. Now, the third race was originally scheduled for the turf, but run on the main track due to the Friday night rains. Scratch to two and the three. And this is the start of the pick five, which had an $11,000 carryover. I believe they bet over 50000 into it today. So a nice pot for the pick five. Let's watch. Set. And they're off. Farcical breaks well with the rail. Blue Princess in between horses, far outside, looking for a spot country miss. To the inside, Josh saying those four will scrimmage for position into that first turn. Blue Princess on the outside with a slight advantage over Just Sane. Farcicle hugs the rail. Country Miss now looking to angle in for a spot there, followed by flat out screaming in Uriah's legacy as they make their way around the first turn with Josh Sane in front by two. Country Miss is racing in the second, followed by Farcicle. Make that on the outside, Blue Princess in the second, Farcicle third as Country Miss is racing fourth, then a gap of two to flat out screaming, and another six more to Uriah's legacy. Opening quarter in 24 and 3 as they straighten away with Josh Sane showing the way. Blue Princess racing second, Farcicle with the rail, followed by Country Miss a length further back. Then flat out screaming, and about seven more to Uriah's legacy as they make their way down the back stretch. On the front end, Josh Sane in front by a clear two over Blue Princess. Farcicle has the rail. Country Miss right alongside now in fourth. Then comes flat out screaming in fifth and still far back. To Uriah's legacy out of the race right now as they race into the turn. Half went in 49 and three. Comfortable quarter there for the leader. Josh Sane setting those fractions. Leads it by two over Blue Princess. Country Miss next in line. Flat out screaming the first timers making a bid. Farcicle toward the inside has more to do. Five of them still with a shot with three eights to go. Josh Sane showing the way. Blue Princess flat out screaming moving to be 
inside. On the outside, is Country Miss. Farcical now dropping out of it, but Jossé in the catch as they turn for home. The six furlongs in 114-1. Just saying in front by three. Flat out screaming, trying to rally with the rail. Up on the outside is Country Miss, followed by Blue Princess. It's Just Saying still in front by two and a half. They're battling for the balance, it appears. Just saying edgy, no way. And Just Saying will win this one. The battle for second on the inside, flat out screaming on the outside, Country Miss. It's going to finish that way with Blue Princess fourth. And the third race goes to the four, Just Saying for Raumania and Joe Arbitanza for Hallmark Racing LLC. $5, 320, 240. Flat out screaming <laughs> with Sedano, 680, 420. Country Miss with Garcia, 560. Zach the 3120, the try 11640, the double 6180, pick three 88170, and the superfecta 11230. Moving along to the fourth, and the fourth race there was one defection. It was number five, Accolade. That left five to go and the favorite was refunded here they go five and a half and they're off bold stroke breaks well on the inside crazed is right there as they make their way down the back stretch and on the front end it is Trapper's Delight now shooting by them from the outside, crossing over, getting that lead. Trapper's Delight by two and a half lengths. Craze racing in second, followed by Bolt Stroke on the inside. Up on the outside, Apollo 11 and refunded is the trailer as they speed into the turn. Trapper's Delight on the front end, has it by about three lengths. Craze chasing in second, then a gap of the same three lengths further back to Bold Stroke, who's dropped back a bit on the inside of Refunded, now beginning to gain some momentum. And the trailer is Apollo 11. Trapper's Delight, the lead is down to a length and a half. Craze is chasing, two and a half to Refunded under a rally, getting out around the turn as they head for home with Trapper's Delight still to catch. Leads it by two lengths. Craze in pursuit second, three lengths further back to Refunded third with a furlong to go. Trapper's Delight is now digging in. Craze right alongside has a shot refunded has to kick more in they've got a 16th to go trappers delight trying to fend off crazed crazed on the outside sticks ahead in front trappers delight coming back on the inside and may have regained that lead in the final yards Whoa, what a stretch battle there and trappers delight comes back big day for jose betancourt two nice uh wins for him this one trained by bruno tesari four Happy Thoroughbreds LLC, and I bet you they were happy. 920, 420, and 280 across the board. Crazed, just missed with Pedroza. $3, 220, refunded with Sedeno. 240. Exacta, 2920. Dry, 7320. Double, 4440. Pick three, 27770. Pick four, look at that, $6,730 and no superfecta. Claims. Holy mackerel, there was a claim. Bold stroke went to Thomas Iannotti, the fourth. Fifth race, originally scheduled for the turf, run on the fast main track. Scratch, scratch the one uncle Huge. Scratch the four more abundance. Big favorite here, Faction Cat at two to five. That was Bungie's uh, pick, but it doesn't count because it was off the turf. But the fans thought it could win on the main track anyway. And we'll see, in fact, if he can as we watch race five. In there, off. Who looked like the two stumbled a critical way at the break there, costing him a length or two. And on the front end, odds on quickly spurts clear by two lengths. On the outside, storming my way, racing second. The critical way moves up on the inside, now in third, followed by Faction Cat. And no need to flatter me is your trailer as they speed into the turn. Odds on on the front end. Leads it by a length and a half. 
Storming my way, edging closer now, second up on the outside. Faction Cat's also on the move, three across the track there. Their critical way is trying to hang in there in fourth and far back to no need to flatter me. Odds on, trying to give way now, but battling back on the inside. It's storming my way, odds on, head to head up on the outside. Faction Cat still with a shot, storming my way to the front now. Faction Cat trying to chase that one down. Odds on is not thrown in the towel. Trying to battle back on the inside. Storming my way, leads it by a length. Length and a quarter now with on the outside Faction Cat. Not cutting that margin, but now coming with a late surge. It's storming my way. Storming my way, hangs on by a neck. Faction Cat got second, odds on third. And a bit of a hunch here as storming, storming my way and the storm was coming our way and gets the job done here for trying brian brian pedroza jamie ness the trainer for bell gable stables llc 1563-6240 faction cat with santos 210 210 odds on with garcia 320 zach the 1960 try 5840 double 57 dollars pick three 119 30 and there was new Superfecta in the fifth. And now we go to the sixth and what turns out to be final. Scratch the five, no moon. Favorite in here at even money. Capture me now. Here's John. In there, off. Hickory Maid breaks well, goes for that lead. Down toward the inside, Alin Ezo, utterly enchanting, moves nicely into that third spot. Two lengths to Fantasia with the rail. Then comes Glinda and Capture Me Now, got away last as they make their way down the back stretch. On the front end, Hickory made by length over Alin Azul. Utterly enchanting moves up alongside of that one. Two lengths to Fantasia going along in fourth. Capture Me Now trying to move up with Glinda from the back of the pack. Only about four and a half lengths separates the field after an opening quarter of 23 seconds flat. They race into the turn with Hickory Made on the front end. Utterly Enchanting now challenging in second. Toward the inside, Alin Azul. Capture Me Now is moving up from the back of the pack. Glinda in between horses and Fantasia is at the rear. Kentucky, I make that Hickory Made leads it by a... Uh, about a head right now as Utterly Enchanting now moves up alongside a challenge for that lead. Three and a half to capture me now. Not much from the back of the pack as they head for home with Utterly Enchanting taking over. Driving on the inside. Hickory Bait is not thrown in the towel. Then a gap of four lengths to capture me now. And toward the inside, that is Glinda with a 16th to go. Now Utterly Enchanting begins to edge away from a game Hickory made. It's going to be Utterly Enchanting to win this one. Hickory made getting second. Late run from Fantasia up for third over capture me now. And utterly enchanting, one of the two four-year-olds in the field gets the job done here for Cece, Carol Cedeno, and Amy Hall for the Country Roads Limited. Five dollars, four dollars, two eighty. Hickory made with Mena, seven even, six twenty. Fantasia was scamped in eight sixty. The exact of sixty-five sixty. The try two ninety-five even. The double 48.40, the pick three, 104.80. And the super with the three, 333.20. And then uh, the big storm came in with heavy winds and hard rain and with two horse fields scheduled to go in the seventh. Uh, we don't know how long the storm was gonna last, so canceled the last two races. I did not get any consolation doubles or pick fives or anything like that. They didn't call us with it, so just run your tickets through when you're here next. <clears throat> Here's a look at the trainers and jockey standing. This is when the day began, a three-way tie, but Jamie Ness did win a race today. So right now he is atop the leaderboard with uh, 13 wins. Bennett and Pecorero with 12, Torres with eight, Claudio Gonzalez and Hugh McMahon with seven. Gary Capuana, Arnaud Delacour, Jose Camejo, and Sam Cronk, all with six wins, round out the top ten. Now the jockeys, we just saw Carol Cedeno win that sixth race, so she's uh, still in the lead now by six wins. Alex Cintron in second, Trevor McCarthy solidly in third now. Jeremy Rose, fourth with 14. Then comes Danny Centeno, 
and with 12, then Ricardo Chappi with 11. J.D. Acosta and Raul Mania with 10, although Mania won one today. Juan Rodriguez with nine and tied with seven. Jose Garcia and Angel Suarez. Now, two weeks ago, well, we had Family Fun Day at Delaware Park with a lot going on out in the Grove for the kids. And we showed you some of the activities. And since we've got some extra time now due to those two races canceled, let's show you some more Family Fun Day out in our picnic grove. And there's one of the big slides we had, and children of all ages enjoying that. You're never too old or young to slide down the slide. There they're way at the top there. Are they going to have a race? Looks like three of them are in the gate. They're all in line. And, oh, she goes backwards and wins. She knew. Going down on her belly was the quick way to go. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. The third one's got left in the gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now there you climb up here to the ladders. And it's like a rock climbing uh, episode here. Someday that kid might climb Mount Everest. You never know. He's doing a very nice job. Oh, here goes one right up the ladder. The ladder looks a little easier than the other things. But as long as you make it to the top. That's all that matters. Now what do we have? It's some kind of game there. That's good, Rich. Thanks for telling us that. It looks like it's a tunnel. Well, oh, there's another slide. You had your choice of slides. This one looks like it's a little faster than the other one. So it might be for the older kids. Because this one's going down pretty fast. This was Family Fun Day out in our picnic grove. We don't always have these things out there, but we always do have the picnic grove, and there is a playground out there, and spaces and benches to uh, have a family picnic. There's a horse out there. It doesn't look real. Oh, it's not real. It's, for a minute, I thought one got away. <laughs> but there is a big horse, wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. And there's a jumping castle. You always, kids always like that. You know, you jump in there for five minutes, and when you come out of there, you feel like you're still jumping. <laughs> it's like a trampoline. But as you can see, the key word of Family Fun Day is fun. And look, even a dog came to Family Fun Day. I think they have jumping fire hydrants, but I'm, I'm not sure. There's a climb through. It's like an obstacle course. Here we come up the tunnel. Not too busy right now. Oh, here come well, you slide down that pole for future firefighters. Now there we had real there's real horses there. We had pony rides. Riders up. Riders up. There we go. And there he is, a future Ramon Dominguez, maybe. Saw Ramon Dominguez this winter down at Gulfstream. He's doing very well, by the way, and feeling good. And he said, life is good. But there's a chance uh, to get the feel of what it is to sit on a horse. I see they make them wear helmets, too. Safety first on Family Fun Day. This is the post parade. They're heading to the gate. <laughs> we won't show you that part. 
Here's some more of these rock climbing here. Yeah, that's good exercise, kids. It might be tiring, but when you get to the top, you'll feel satisfied. A little bit of a log jam, just like at Mount Everest. <laughs> no snow, though. <laughs> We're telling if you are if you are trash you are not allowed. <laughs> no trash allowed. <laughs> and there uh, uh, right adjacent to this grove as you can see is the racetrack. So when the horses come ready to run you can walk to that fence and watch them come uh, down the stretch right at you. So it's a good way to break in the kids to see the excitement of horse racing while still having a good time with the family. There you go, there, here they come right at you. Clubhouse turn. Oh, and there's the fans watching. And this is the beginning of the race, so they're not cheering yet. And if you were, oh, there's somebody that did bring coals. <laughs> Said no trash, no coals. Well, but maybe not. Maybe it's a, one of those newfangled jobs. And back to the climbing and bouncing episodes. Oh, that was pretty good. Kind of leapfrogged over that one. And now the next Aaron Nola trying to throw the ball in the uh, basket there. Good shot. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And as you can see, all ages are out here enjoying the family fun day at Delaware Park. And maybe if you're watching this show by just flicking the channels, and didn't know we had this beautiful facility here, now you know, and you can maybe bring the family out. It's free admission, free general parking. How do you beat that? So come on out, watch the horses. You don't have to bet if you don't want to, but it does make the racing a little more exciting when you have $2 down on your horse. And there's some face painting that went on on that super family fun day. Oh, he really got, uh, he either got a bad sunburn or they're really painting his face up. And of course there was food and beverage available. And I think everybody had a good time. All right, that's all the time we have for that. Uh, I don't want to give you the handle because they weren't sure about the, whether the handle included the eighth race, which was canceled. So it wasn't a great handle because of the short fields, but I'm not sure what it was. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next live racing day is Monday. Good night.